Okay. Now, the Lord led me this just a minute ago to go look at Brian Carnes' page. Now, I was a follower, and I still I honor the man, but I got to tell him what the Lord said. It ain't got nothing to do with no feelings, pastorship, titles, battles, and all that kind of crazy. It ain't got nothing to do with none of that. It's just, that's besides the point. Uh, what's going on right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, during my escapade, during the last two two years when I was homeless, I was in Savannah at a, at a mental institution. Once again, because I had, I got transferred from Gwinnett County Jail all the way to Savannah, to the mental institution. And then they transported me to Augusta, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, long story short, while I was I had that dream you saw me, I just posted about the Death Angel. And it's a real dream, you know what I'm saying? It scared the crap out of me, like it scared the crap out of y'all. And you, you, now you now you see what I, no you don't, okay. Um. I brought my wife Valencia to KCC Jacksonville, where I was homeless too. And Jacksonville just started acting crazy all of a sudden. But I know why. Now, you know, it's all starting to make sense. It's all starting to make sense. So when I brought my wife Valencia Brown, you know, supposed to be Spurgeon, but she got she never got her last name changed. And we and we know why. We uh I brought her to KCC Jacksonville. So we and the Lord told us to go there. And we just gonna we was gonna sit up on them, he's gonna help us with ministry. That's what the Lord told me. So we went there. And he helped me with ministry. You and Valencia helped me with ministry, Brian Carr. And see, what the Lord telling me to tell you is his judgment is on you, Brian Carr, because you've been playing with him and jiving and joking. And you even slept with my wife. You know what I'm saying? You did. The Lord told me you did. Because I would listen to your podcast and the revelation I got out of your word plus something else that I, that, that, that post connected. You know what I'm saying? So, in other words, uh, you can set up the showdown because I'm coming. You Look. I'm coming. All you got to do, look, hey, you that bold? You you say you provide for the church? You say you help the church? You say you in position to help folk like you did in Charlotte? You up there uh, buying folk houses and, you know, putting them in houses and all kind of stuff. Where you getting the money from? Okay, cool. I understand. But this is what I'm telling you. You set it up. Send me. Okay. You that bold, right? You say you hear God, right? You say you hear God. Ask God, do he want you? He wants you to give me a car or give me some, some, some transportation to get up there. Don't have nobody pick me up because I ain't trying to get kidnapped. You feel me? I ain't trying to get murdered. What I'm telling you is I want you to send me a car. Send me a vehicle. You set it up. You, you, you can call, you can call your, you can call TBN. You can call, uh, uh, what are them Christian? The word network. You can have them. You can have each one of them brought, come and broadcast. It's going to be like a, a, a it's going to be like a showdown. A real showdown. Now, little do you know, I got a book on Amazon called The Breakthrough, where it is the judgment of God. The uh, Different examples of how the judgment of God came to my enemies after they persecuted me immediately. Like you just said on your broadcast, immediately. When Miriam got, got judged by God because she came against the prophet Moses, immediately God struck her with leprosy. You just said that. That's in my book. I got a chapter in there called Showdown, Church Showdown. When I came to the same church you was preaching at here in Augusta, Georgia, at Word of Life Outreach Ministries, yeah, it's going to get scary, at Word of Life Outreach Ministries, I stood up in front of the church, and you was preaching, making fun, acting, acting, acting crazy or whatever, doing what you were doing, laughing at me, I was on a sign, I had a straight meme mug, and I just made a video about that the other day, I made a video about it the other day, and I spoke openly to Apostle the apostle of the house, I told him judgment was upon him, and I walked out of there. The Lord told me to go. I had never heard nothing about you, but I'm skipping past that point. I ain't scared. You feel me? This is what I do. You can call it what you want to, but it's signs, wonders, and miracles follow those who really walk with the Lord. Now, I'm going to say this right here. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, Brian Carr. The Lord told me there's some women getting ready to uncover what you're doing. Me and my wife, Valencia, herself at our apartment before I left Augusta, Georgia, was sitting down watching the allegations of a woman that was, that was you know, call herself exposing you on YouTube. And some of y'all could look it up. I don't know her name. But the Lord told me, I, 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 you know, I was following you, Brian Carr. I'm listening to you. And I'm like, you know, this is the man of God. I, this man powerful, you know. You know, saying with somebody else, but I'm, I'm this man powerful. I not put my mouth on you. You know, I'm like the same thing. Everybody saying on your on your on your on your live just a few minutes ago. They following you, just listening to you. You know what I'm saying? So as as they, as, as as I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, uh, I'm sitting there watching the video of the lady. So I cut the video off. I, me and my wife, I said, I said, man, let's tap in and find out if the Lord. What the Lord is saying, if this woman telling the truth. We got before the Lord got quiet. And this is something me and my wife did all the time. Got before the Lord and he spoke and we found out the truth. 
So Boogie's out there trying to trying to trying to mock me or trying to drown out, trying to keep me, trying to trying to stifle stifle my communication pipe between me and the father. God finna stifle your life completely cut you off and you finna drop dead. You think it's something to play with. I'm gonna tell you like this right here. We got before the Lord and the Lord said, He is not I mean, she is not lying. The Lord said she is not lying. That woman was telling the truth. The Lord said she is not lying. That woman was telling the truth. And they ain't the only okay. The Lord said there's gonna be other women that's gonna uncover you. Now I'm now I, I speak as a prophetic judge, and I tell you this right here. I was born out of due season. You feel me? It's my season. Now, the rest of you boogers out there, y'all can follow me if you want to. But I'm gonna tell y'all I love all y'all. Um, and I'm gonna okay. I decrease. I come humbly to all you beautiful sisters out there that go to join KCC. The Lord said, you have a word of exposure in your belly. And now is the season for you to give it. So you can watch this video and you don't have to, you don't have to comment on none of this. But if you see this video, just know. That God is backing you up when you go forth and expose them. Because a lot of y'all are not lying. Whole plethora of you all. Whole bunch. Lots, multitudes of you all are not lying. Come forth. Like the post I just posted. It said, come forth that I posted last year. You see how everything is lining up? Something is getting ready to happen.